First Crush is the brilliant fourth episode of the first season of Two of a Kind. This is an episode that I don't remember very well from my childhood. And I guess I'm watching it for the first time in maybe 20 years. So I don't blame myself necessarily for not remembering it. But I'm glad I didn't because I was able to view it with a fresh perspective. And I have to say I rather enjoyed it. The subplot involves Carrie having eyes for Rick, who is in her class, in one of Kevin's classes. And things seem to be going well between them. But then Kevin finds out something. And he's not sure whether he should tell Carrie because they've agreed to keep out of each other's private lives. That part of the narrative was interesting enough. I quite liked it. And definitely it felt a little bit more than just padding. So that was part of it that I enjoyed. The main narrative, of course, focuses on Mary Kate and Ashley. And Ashley's crush, Pokey, is her um, partner for a project they're working on. And... He is in their home and Kevin Kevin meets him, which is uh, very entertaining. And then when Ashley is out of the room, he asks Mary-Kate if she wants to come over on Saturday to play basketball. And that's obviously a little bit, a little bit awkward. And I won't say any more than that about that part of the narrative, but I didn't necessarily expect the direction it took. And I really enjoyed that part of watching that unfold and seeing how Mary-Kate responded to the situation, because obviously she doesn't know if she should tell Ashley, but at the same time, if she doesn't tell Ashley, should she go? She's in a dilemma, and I won't say what happens, as I said, but I think all of the right decisions were made within the context of the episode, so I really like that as well. And there are two moments that I love right at the end. This doesn't necessarily spoil the narrative, but these are two scenes that happen at the very, very end. So I haven't got anything else to say about this, other than actually, no, I do want to say the scene at the beginning where Carrie jumped on Eddie. Really enjoyed that. But my two favourite scenes were actually right at the end. So these, I guess, are spoilers for things that happen at the end. And the first is when Mary-Kate and Ashley are lying in bed and they're basically saying nothing would ever change between them. No boy would ever come between them. And it's just so sweet and so moving. And then it goes silent. And then Mary Kay just says, thank you. And it's it's just beautiful. And I really thoroughly enjoyed that. And then after that heartfelt, sentimental moment, we cut to the next scene the following morning. And the girls have found the note that Carrie wrote uh, the woman's name on and also wrote that she had great legs. And since Kevin had previously said Ashley can talk to him about boys, since he is one, they turned things around and said the same thing, that they can talk to them or he can talk to them about girls because they are girls. And I just, I really enjoyed that. And then they were chasing each other around the kitchen. It was just a really fun way to end the episode. And as I said, I couldn't remember this one very much from my childhood. It didn't trigger any specific memories, but the show itself is, is still really nostalgic. And I had a lot of fun watching it. I love Mary Kane and Ashley. I have done for... I don't know, let's say 25 years, however old I was when I first watched It Takes Two, and this show definitely was a big part of my childhood. I'm really glad that I can still enjoy it in adulthood. It's definitely worth watching as a show, and this episode as well, First Crush, is particularly great. <laughs>